Friday on Fit Friday! What's Fit Friday? Really? Fit Friday is my weekly recap of my workouts for the previous week because I've got until June 14th to fit into a skinny suit for my little sister's wedding! <laughs> this week I'm joined on the show by my good friend, fitness enthusiast, Jen Walker. Ta -da! Ta -da! Jen, how was your week? It was a little tricky this week. Yeah. I was feeling under the weather, but I still got all of my workouts in, which was awesome. That's tough to do, too, when you don't feel well. You gotta push through it. And you really have to listen to your body. Like, you need to know when it's like, okay, I'm just under the weather, I can push through it, or when it's like, okay, my body's saying to stop, I need to just rest. Right. So it's important to be really in tune with with your body and what it's telling you. If a little obstacle comes up, don't let it completely run you off the rails. Okay, I feel better now. Let me get back to it and just go. Yeah, that's like one of the most important things that I've learned is that there are always gonna be obstacles in your life, but the time's gonna pass anyway. So you determine whether you let that obstacle completely stop you and ruin what you're doing or whether you're just gonna push through it and just go, okay, that was a challenge, it's past me, and now I'm just gonna get right into it and keep going. What for you has been one of the times that really stands out in your head where it's just you've gone, like you've just thrown your hands up? I am an emotional eater, so yeah, when bad things happen to me or things that I perceive to be bad, that's when I'm just like, screw it all, I don't care, I'm gonna do what I want. And sometimes it's not even just about the food, it's about the comfort of something that you can share with other people. The last time that I was at my top weight, it was um, because uh, I was dating this guy, I was in love with him, he broke up with me. I mean, we were together for five years, a long time. Oh, this episode just got real, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we taking it deep. Cue the music. The last time that I was at my top weight, it was because I was dating Skye, I was in love with him. He broke up with me and I was having like the hardest time coping with it. And so I just didn't care. I wanted to fill that void and my MO is to use food. So. Oh no, I think I know where this story's going. <laughs> so I was feeling really crappy and this guy <laughs> right here <laughs> knocks on my door with four pints of Ben and Jerry's. Enabler. And Oops. so my roommate at the time, this guy and another friend, sat on my couch watching the Golden Girls, <laughs> spoon in hand, passing around four pints of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And let me tell you, Awful. we oh. just about polished off all four pints between the did. four of us. <laughs> there was, a, I think, the, the least favorite one, there was still a little bit left. Only because we waited too long to eat it and it melted. <laughs> if it had just stayed frozen, sooner or later it would have been eaten. <laughs> True statement. I'll agree with that. So uh. things like that happen. And I wasn't going to discourage that because it did enable me to eat food that I wanted to eat. And I wasn't alone. I had friends around That's me. true. I think that happens to a lot of people. And one of the keys is recognizing that in yourself. Once you realize it, then it gets easier to counteract it, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now I feel prepared. I know now that if something bad happens, I can just talk to my friends. I don't need to have, food does not have to be in the picture. It does not have to be a part of it. I can go work out because working out, you know, triggers chemical reactions in your brain that make you feel happy, that make you feel good. And I don't even really think of food as that comfort anymore. I still like it though. Instead of seeking comfort in it, just be a connoisseur. I feel like we should have our pinkies out right now. <laughs> when in doubt, pinky out. Try everything. Mm. I'm a connoisseur. I'm a connoisseur of food. Mm. Moderation is another big mm. key. I don't 
deny myself really. I don't feel deprived because I think when you do, you're more apt to hit a point where you're like, okay, I can't do this anymore. If you allow yourself to have the things that you want to have, but in moderation, it will go a long way in helping you reach your goals. It's not an overnight process. Oh no. I think a lot of people want a quick fix. I want things to happen and I want them to happen now. Mm -hmm. And then when they don't, you give up. If you go into it knowing that it's a long-term goal, mm -hmm. it's, it's easier to stick with it. And speaking of long-term, you just hit a one-year milestone, mm -hmm. correct? Absolutely. Let's take another look at your before and after photos. <laughs> okay, that before photo. I am not proud of it. Believe it or not, actually at that point, I had already lost some weight. Prior to that, I had started doing hip-hop abs. Shout out to Shanti. What, what? Lee and Kelly, they bought me uh, the DVDs and it was the perfect start for me because I love dancing and it was easy enough that even at my top weight, I could, I could do it. Um, so I started with that, I lost some weight, but once again, had those obstacles that were put in my path. Yep, life, it happens. Um, so I kind of got at a point where I was just, I was stuck. Then I was like, this can't be the end. Like, I wanna do this for myself. I wanna be healthy. I was afraid of getting the diabetes. It does run in my family. I was afraid of my cholesterol, uh, so I was like, I can't stop here, I have to keep going. So at that point, I connected with someone at my church, actually, who was struggling, um, and so we've kind of helped each other out online, and then I realized I need people as far as working out goes, so I joined, shout out to Vixen Fitness, what? What? which is an awesome place everyone there is so supportive the workouts are fun and so yeah i started with shanti hip-hop abs got to that point at my one year photo started with fix and fitness and just i mean honestly the working out part has been the easy part for me but what after picture how are you feeling oh, fantastic <laughs> So much better than I did a year ago. Yeah. How do you feel when you take that photo and then see it compared? Like, then suddenly does it, it all comes into perspective. I was like, holy crap. Like, I didn't realize it was that much of a difference. You see yourself every day. You don't really, you know, your perception of the way you look is, you know, it's different. So I was like, completely blown away when I did that photo. You can definitely see in, in those pictures your you know your shoulders look more defined and you've got cuts. Girl <laughs> there there are cuts in your abs. Yes like, there things are things are starting to happen and that's so yeah. awesome. Thank you. It's, yeah. You did a great job. Thanks. I'd like to give a shout out to Marcy Craft. She is the person from my church that I meet with. We um, together created two Facebook pages for people that are going through the same thing. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to recognize. Are those, I mean, are those face page, uh, Facebook pages public? Like, can people find them or? They aren't public, they are okay. secret pages. So if either one of us notices anyone or has talked to anyone who um, is kind of dealing with the same things, struggling with the fitness and nutrition, we invite them to the page so that um, they can, you know, get advice, just talk about it. Um, we share recipes, that kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. Well, okay. Well, if you guys are interested, you can find Jen Walton on the Facebook, or you can leave comments here. I'm sure she can check those. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in maybe, you know, just getting some more support system, wherever you are, whoever you are, get in touch with her. All right. So this video is going really well got a lot of good information so far and we got a lot more to come so I think we're gonna make it a two-parter is that okay with you let's do it all right stick around we'll see you soon for part two of Fit Friday week seven oh yeah don't look at yourself okay <laughs>
like over here. How about I just look at you? Awkward.